TSMC Advanced Technology is very specialized. It serves several customers, major customers around the world. And our customers really wanted us to build in the United States for supply resiliency. So we made the announcement in 2020. We broke ground in 2021. And we quickly established that Fab 1 was going to grow into Fab 2. And so our 12 billion initial investment grew to about 45. And then actually very quickly after that grew into a $65 billion investment with three fabs. And recently we announced an additional $100 billion of investment for our entire site of six fabs, two advanced packaging facilities and an R&D center. You know, we're really proud of the fact that our workforce has grown so well. We are now at over 3,000 employees in Phoenix and we have to grow that to about 6,000 for just the first three fab. And we estimate that when we are fully built out, this site will be able to have about 30% of TSMC's entire advanced technology capacity for our customers, specifically here in the United States. We had many considerations in choosing a site in the U.S. We were looking for an existing ecosystem of semiconductor suppliers. Of course, the land infrastructure considerations were also there. And we also really wanted to have a deep bench of talent that we could draw from. And both ASU and the community colleges were really instrumental in having us choose Phoenix. And I think best consideration that really was something very critical for us was that we saw in Phoenix and the state and local governments, GPEG, ACA, is the many partnerships that were committed to helping us grow and establishing this site. With the partnership um, and help from the city of Phoenix, we established the first apprenticeship program in, in Arizona. What that is, is the ability to have our apprentices both do on-the-job training as well as schools. And we have multiple apprenticeships. We've got apprenticeships in manufacturing, in facilities, in process, and it's a really unique program. We're really proud of it. We're just getting started, and it's really something where people from high school can come, they can take community class, and also be paid at TSMC and do on-the-job training as well as study at a community college. And we feel that this is something that will continue to grow for us and add to many people's uh, livelihoods in the state. So TSMC has values in sustainability. We have a great importance to the way that our sites are impacting the community. We want to be a good partner. We want to be a good citizen. We have a very large array of solar panels. So that array will be multiplied several times, but just that one array can actually have about 4,000 homes being served, but we use that here on site. And as far as water, the city of Phoenix did a great job to be able to plan for water use. We also have a very high importance on the way that we recycle. We currently have about a 65% recycle rate of our water and we are going to be breaking ground very soon on the um, industrial water reclamation plant. And after that is up and running, that will have the ability to be able to have us do about 90% of water recycling rate. We are very committed to be able to have a very efficient and sustainable operation here in Phoenix.